Okay, the project today is uh, this trailer. Okay. This trailer, I think, is a 1986. Something like that. It's got a lot of things that I want to fix up, but there's a couple of them we're going to start working on today. Okay. First thing is this hitch. Okay. Never did really like these flip over switches. And I managed the other day to ruin it, break it. And it's made so that you can't really take it out of there. I don't know how they put it together. I don't know how much you can see up in here. But that is bent right there. And it's come out of its, it has, I apologize. We finally got a sunny day. But it's supposed to follow down in this slot right here. And as you can see, it's popped out. Okay. Can't really get in there to change it. It's all welded up and sealed in the back here. But if you're looking at what I'm looking at, you'll see that this whole framework is broken away. Clear up into here. Okay. The other side is the same way. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off and we're going to replace it. That'll be the first thing we do. While we're at it, we're going to go ahead and put a plate along this side here to stiffen it up just a little bit. We're going to replace this with this a bulldog type hitch I think is what they call it cast iron and uh, made to fit the uh, support that I already have the jack for the front okay <clears throat> that's the first thing second thing is there's a few places where the framework is cracked and we're going to clean those up and we're going to re-weld those also I have this uh, expanded metal around here and it's too lightweight I want to replace it with some heavier but I'm not really ready to do that right now that's uh, something I'll get to later on but it ain't going to be part of the project we're working on today but the other part of the project is <coughs> pardon me the other part of the project is these ramps that I have they work really well They, uh, this is a homemade uh, system we put, and this bar that goes across there, you just pull the pins, drop the supports on the side there, then you can slide them wherever you want across there for different widths, which is important because my tractor's pretty narrow, but other things I put on it aren't. The problem is that this is uh, this trailer being a bumper hitch okay uh, I don't actually hook it to my bumper but I you know I have a uh, towing package on my truck but what happens is that as you drive up on these ramps you push down on the back of this trailer which forces the front end off the ground so I've been putting a block down between the ground and this right in here to support it so it doesn't droop so much I'm gonna go ahead and build on a frame on the bottom of these ramps that'll stick out here about 11 inches no 14 inches I think that will catch it and keep the trailer from dropping when you drive up on it I've got uh, those already cut so we'll take these ramps off and uh, we'll weld that together and put those on that should save me from having the problem with the teeter-totter effect 
as I drive on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and get all that ready. As I said, I've cut the parts. They're laying right there. I have the hitch and I have the reinforcement steel. So I'll have to cut that to length, figure out just how much of that I want to use on each side and uh, get all that ready so that when Mike gets home, he can, he can weld. I uh, have welded and I've laughed at my welds. Don't know that I've ever cheered or got a standing ovation for one, so we'll let Mike do the welding. But anyway, that's where I'm at. I'll set you up here and you can watch as I, I struggle to get that uh, hitch off the front. welded on the inside here too. So I'm going to open it up and see what that looks like. It's welded. So, I think what I'll do is cut along the inside edge of that weld here and then see if I can knock it off.
I got a little more cutting to do in here. Up underneath. Okay. I'll get back with you. Progress. Okay, so I need to cut this off, cut this one off, grind that, and there's that lower flange, I'll beat it back out, get it flush so I can grind that down, and over here, just grind this weld out here and grind this one off and uh, I'm in business progress It'll either go well or it'll go badly and try to cold bend it a little bit. If this don't work, we can hot bend it when Mike gets here, but let me try this. Oh! Yeah, that ain't gonna work. All right. Well, I might as well measure up and cut the steel. I'm gonna put a piece of steel across the outside of this. Four inch by quarter. And I'm gonna run it on back in here a little bit, stiffen that up a little more. So I think I'll go ahead and get that cut up and ready. He'll be home from work here in just a little bit. And Maybe we can get this finished up. I need uh, two pieces, 41 inches long. Well, I need to take these ramps off. Get them prepped, ready.
get those ready to roll. Well, hello, Piper. Well, let's get this one ready. Okay, got my clamp. And just a little bit blow. Not much. Grind this off so the other part will fit.
All right. So that's ready to weld. And then, once we get that, we'll come in here and put these braces. Like this. And that should pretty much do it. Okay. Well, just found out that <clears throat> Mike's not going to get home very quick. He's stuck out on the road making deliveries and probably not going to get here till way late in the evening. So I think I'm going to just put it down right here. Little progress. Little progress. That's about as much as I got done on that project day one. I'll go ahead and put together day two and uh, get it thrown up early next week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you don't mind, would you go ahead and uh, leave a comment? Appreciate you watching.